Alright guys, welcome back to Grim Reaper RC and today in this video we're going to be going over all of the different upgrade parts and the different build pieces that I used in my Optimus Prime build. Now I did Optimus Prime for a thousand subscribers on Instagram. Uh, Transformers was one of my favorite series growing up as a kid and it definitely had a huge impact on my RC hobby as well as RC Sparks. That is why I do have his beast too. I will leave a photo of that right there. And right now in the background guys, I do have a video going. This is the RC four wheel drive Trail Finder 3 that just got released. It has the twister servo for the scale transmission, which is absolutely insane. It comes with the Rancho shocks and everything. I'm gonna be going over a huge 2022 RC release video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. But let's get into the, to today's video, and that is talking about Optimus Prime. All right, let's first off, let's start by wiping him down just to make sure he's nice and show ready. So this is a microfiber cloth that is the best for wiping down, especially custom paint jobs that you guys do not want to destroy. And I do have a rabbit, if you guys didn't know, yes, I do have a rabbit. He's extremely hairy, sheds almost every single day. And it's not good for having RCs, especially in a dusty environment. Now, I'm going to quickly wipe them down and we're going to start talking about all the different parts that I have on here and the paint scheme. Now, this was a custom paint job that I did for the summer of 2021. Now, this is a multi-step layer paint job. This is the metallic red paint by Tamiya. This is all Tamiya paint. Now, if you're going to use Tamiya paints, make sure you stick to the TS. TS is for their hard body lineup. That would be for your 114th scales or even like your Sand Scorcher, your bla uh, Blazing Blazer. All of those come with hard bodies. Your hard bodies, you want to use the uh, TS paint for your uh, Lexan bodies or plastic bodies or plastic RC pieces like uh, just the simple parts that you have all going on the back, like your fifth wheel attachment. I'm gonna zoom over, I'll show you guys all of this. If you wanted to paint that, you would use the PS paint because that is for plastics. Now, I did use the uh, deep metallic blue and then I used the metallic red, as I said, also with the metallic orange. Now, uh, it is multi-stepped. I do have a video of the full process of how to paint this. There are, uh, it's very extensive. You do have to go through, you have to cut a bunch of different vinyl decals and you have to use a uh, white primer from Tamiya as well for their uh, hard body series. Now, if you don't do the white in between the layers, you'll have fading and the colors will fade into each other. So the red will make the blue a different color and you do not want that to happen. You want everything to be as bright as possible. Now, Optimus does look absolutely amazing. I do have to say that. I did have a bunch of them that I did. I did sell off a few of them, but I kept most of them for myself. I do not think I will be selling any more of them just because of how scarce and hard it was to do all of these paint schemes. But starting off the video, basically, I played the RC four wheel drive, new trail finder for a reason. So let's start off with all of the parts on here. All right, guys, so taking a look at the stacks, these stacks right here are by RC Four Wheel Drive. They are available on their website. I did get them the day that they were released. They were in and around $60 for them. They did come with two of them. If you guys were wondering, you do not have to buy them individually. Now these are extremely nice. Instead of having the two pieces up top that you have to glue together, which you could see the seam and it sucks, so you have the two pieces and then you have the main frame for the stack and then it goes into this piece that is a 90 degree angle and it connects to the cab itself. Now to me when they did that, I don't know what they were thinking but it did not look good. I'm not a fan of it. I am so glad that RC four wheel drive made the one piece that is just bent pipe. It does look like they were using some sort of um, galvanized pipe for this. I'm not sure if it's aluminum. It does look like it is galvanized, 
Um, I'm not too sure what it is, but I will be leaving the link to it where I got it down below. And I will be letting you guys know if it is aluminum or not. Um, I do have the RC four wheel drive rims on here as well. Those are the chaos rims. They are 1.7 size rims. I do have them all the way around. If you guys were wondering how they attached, you just unscrew this piece right here. Now it did come with all of the little spikes on here. Let's see if it can focus. Hold up. Sorry guys. Let me let go and try to focus this. We'll spin you over by Optimus. Don't worry, I'll try to get you guys a good shot. Ah, uh, there you go. All right, so all of the spikes did come on, but as you can see, I did go through. You could kind of see some blue left over. I did put Loctite on all of these because I do use Optimus. I bring them out on the trail with me. Not on the trail, but I bring them out uh, trail walking, you could say. I bring them out, I put the flatbed in the low boy, I'll grab an RC and I'll go walking around because there's nothing better than seeing people's reaction when you're driving this thing down the street with the sound kit on and all of the lights and you guys probably did just see the front bumper but that hasn't really been released in this video yet you guys probably saw it in the thumbnail you've seen it on my Facebook you've seen it on my Instagram and if you guys don't follow me over there I will be leaving a link to both of those in the description box as well also, if you guys haven't seen the previous videos, I did a Red Bull Racing Series build on my Traxxas X-Max. We also just brought the uh, Traxxas 4x4 Rustler VXL 3S out in my job site. We ripped that thing around. We had some fun with it. We ended up blowing a tire off and it doing some donuts. So it was some fun. If you guys didn't see that, that also will be in the description box down below. And this is new released, new content that is coming out in the future. We did just get a Traxxas E-Revo 2.0. No, this was not the one that I had previously. I did end up just picking this up from the homie, Kenny, the other day. Shout out to Kenny. I know you're watching these videos. Thank you, brother. This thing will be used all the time. Now let's get back into Optimus Prime. Okay guys, so just for a quick comparison, we were talking about the tires and how the RC four wheel drive 1.7 Chaos rims do unscrew. Now I do have a stock Tamiya 114 scale Grand Hauler tire here, just for a quick comparison. They are the same size if you guys were wondering. The inside rim dimension on this tire is as well 1.7. So if you're looking for some new rims and tires for your Grand Hauler, king hauler or any 114 scale grand hauler they are 1.7 sized now also with the tires these are just the stock tamias i do have the stock tamia ones in the front as well on here because a bunch of these parts up front are aluminum and it is extremely heavy i do have the aluminum horns up top on optimus prime as well here i'm gonna move you guys just real quick so it's gonna bounce for a second sorry so you can see extremely dusty Optimus Prime. We do have to wipe in between there. I just want to grab the compressor. I don't really want to be touching the paint up here, but you guys can see that there is the horn. That is the aluminum one that is available from Tamiya. You guys are getting a quick glimpse at the front bumper. Don't look at that too much. The front grille and the front bumper does match together. Guys, don't get a good look at that. We're talking about the tires right now. Come on. All right, so you guys see the comparison here. They do look so much better with the Chaos tires. I did want to keep the same look. If you guys look at a Peterbilt 359 photo of Optimus Prime, which I just said he is a Peterbilt 359, he does have the holes, the perforated holes going through his rims. I did want to keep that same look, but I did need the spikes because Optimus does have some pretty nasty spikes in uh, real life in his car. Not that he is a real transformer, but in real life, his car is like that. His truck, his hauler, whatever you want to call it. All right, we're moving over to the grill now. We're moving over to the front bumper, and we're going to talk about lights. Because we do have a bunch of upgrades on here, even though it does look like just a regular RC hauler, Optimus Prime hauler. There are a bunch of different things that go into this that we're going to get into. All right, guys, so I did get this grill off of eBay, and it did come with the Autobots logo inside of it, and it came with a vinyl sticker 
of the Autobots logo up top here, and it is a raised bevel imprint of the Autobots logo on this grill. It is a very nice finish. It's extremely shiny chrome. Now, I do at one point want to add the lights here and end up cutting the lights off of the cab itself. That way it will look like a real 359. Now, these two lights here are orange and they do light up when you turn on the switch. I probably will be going through the light functions even though I already do have a video to that which I will be leaving in the, the description box down below. Now with the grand hauler you guys can see that the intake filters for the cab itself are different. You can see that it has this top hat looking thing right here with the uh, intake on the top. Now it looked like a tin can or a old uh, carburetor from a car on the King Hauler version. Now, Optimus Prime in real life, his 359 Peterbilt is a mix between the two of them, but I do like the version of the Grand Hauler here with the huge stacks. It makes them really stand out. Now, Optimus does have these side markers on his grill. I also do have four AA batteries in the top over here. Now you guys can actually see the wiring for the sound kit and the top lights over here. I'm actually going to let go of the camera for a quick second. I'm gonna set you guys up good on the tripod and I'm going to put my hands underneath Optimus's head here and I'm gonna turn on this front light. So I'm gonna lift it up so you guys can see it and so I can get a better angle on the switch. Now, if I can find it, while continuously talking and recording this video, that would be absolutely amazing. It's gonna take some talent, but I have done this once or twice. I mean, I do use Optimus. You'd think I'd know where the switch is. All right, it's right here. So you guys can see it is a amber colored light. Now, if you guys didn't know in real life, amber colored lights on uh, semi-truck trailers are used during the winter so that they can see better in the snow. Uh, actually, yellow colored lights, you can see better in the snow. With white lights, everything kind of just gets blurry. It just makes all of the potholes and imperfections in the ground much easier to see. Now, Optimus is extremely heavy over here, so I am going to put him down. But I am also going to shut off these lights right here. Now that I can see underneath, I can shut those off. So we talked about the grill, we did talk about the lights, we do have a few different light functions that we talked about. So I'm going to flip them around and we're going to start talking about the other half of Optimus Prime. Alright guys, just setting the camera up good. Optimus is kind of a beast over here. He is extremely long, he is 27 inches long. I'm just going to flip him around so that way we can talk about the back half. All right, we're going to talk about the fifth wheel attachment and all of the other components in the back of Optimus Prime. Now, I do have a stand just custom made for the 114 scale Grand Hauler. It is 3D printed and I do have one that is cut from polycarbonate sheet that is clear. So when he is standing up on it, you can't even tell. Now, the, pen the fenders on Optimus Prime are also painted like him. You can see that they do have the flames coming across them. In the end of this video, I will be leaving a bunch of different photos and small clips of Optimus Prime running. I did do a video of him pulling the DXR2 dozer, which is down there. You guys can also see that we have the drag slash. We have the arm of felony. If we come over to the other side, we have the Erevo that we were talking about earlier. We have Project X Max, Y Max, Red Bull, Project Red Bull. We also have the bad boy slash, you know it. All right, so getting back into the back of Optimus Prime, we have the back rack, the headache rack, whatever you guys want to call it. We do have the chains hanging off of here. This was actually very ingenious of, I'm not sure who made this back rack. It was from eBay. It was about $100 at the time of this filming. It does come with a C clamp that does go around the chassis. And then you do have to put a nut on the bottom of it and tighten it down. They are uneven size screws, so you do want to make sure that you put the longer one on the inside. Unlike I did, so I will having to be redoing that later on. But like I was saying, whoever designed this was ingenious. The way that these chains 
go into the loop they make it so that they go through the small holes in each chain so they stay latched on wherever they are on the inside so you do have to make sure that you align them up equally or your chains will be sagging differently and you want to make sure you have equal swag you want to make sure your chain hang low right there all right so we also have the aluminum fifth wheel attachment we have a savok servo all the way around in this beast we have three actually we have two we have three of them so we have one for the fifth wheel attachment right here this is controlled by my spectrum dxr dx6e and then we do have one for the steering and then one for the three speed transmission now the three speed transmission is absolutely insane in this thing it makes it so you can pull the dozer like i was talking about earlier i will have a link to that video down below in the description box and i will be showing you guys a clip of that it actually was in the beginning of the video i used it as a intro card so that was actually pretty cool i will leave another clip at the end of the video though along with some photos now i did leave the stock rear bumper on the back of optimus prime because i am waiting for i do have a custom one coming soon that is designed like optimus prime and then we will be putting the three brake lights in the back of the fenders just like optimus has we also will be getting a aluminum fifth wheel attachment soon that will be coming i think hot racing is the one who sells it i think i already did purchase it i will have to go through my account and see if i did or i will have to go to the hobby shop down the street and see if they have it there um also with optimus i do have the 114 scale semi truck motor inside of here from uh to me it is the upgraded one it is from japan uh, at the time of this filming it is around fifty dollars as well uh, i do have the multi-function control unit in here which is absolutely amazing um, there is no drag brake or there is no jake brake whatever you guys want to call it there is no engine braking on the um, multi-function control unit which kind of does suck but there is nothing that you guys can do about it i mean it is a very good unit in and of itself and then in the back here you can see that we do have the michelin tires on optimus prime he does look extremely good with them on there all right guys so as you've seen in a bunch of different videos on my instagram and probably on facebook you guys can't ignore jack skellington he is going to be a bunch of different scale drivers that i'm going to have in a few different vehicles he's going to go in my long wheelbase trail finder 2 that's going to be the flatbed build you guys have seen the project reveal on that i haven't started the build on that but we are going to get to that very shortly it's probably going to be in the next video actually also in one of the next videos we're going to be doing the traxxas drag slash lighting kit and i do have a secret about the rear lights that you guys are going to want to know so make sure you guys stay tuned for that also, we do have a upgrade coming on the RC four wheel drive trail finder too. actually a bunch of different upgrades. We have wheels, tires, lights, a uh, brand new transmission coming for it and everything. We also have a motor upgrade video coming. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I just wanted to get into one of the trailers that I do have for Optimus Prime here. This is one of these sticker sheets. This is from a guy in Czech Republic. I'm not too sure of the name of him, but if you guys check the description box down below, I will uh, leave it there. Also, I do have the Michelin tires on here. I do have the tire block because actually these are extremely soft. You guys can hear they are glued. I did use super glue and there's a little spillover on the tire. I'm extremely mad about that, but you guys can hear that the air is seeping by. So these tires will be getting flat after time sitting on my bench up here, sitting on my little shelf. So I put the tire block underneath one of the wheels just so that it sat up a little bit, trying to make sure that that uh, flat spot doesn't happen and i do rotate the tires once in a while all of the time actually i do now i do have the trailer lights on here you can see the little wire dangling from here you can also see zero that is uh jack skellington's dog right there um huge nightmare before christmas fan this is uh in and around the uh filming time of christmas so i do have some christmas decorations out right now 
uh, the trailer lights do come back to here. The first ones are orange and then red actually in the uh, United States. I have seen some trucks that had the red and then orange. So um, I was kind of confused about that. I'm not too sure. I have seen the both different styles, but I kept it this way because that's what it said to do inside of the instruction manual. Also, you can see the Autobots logo on here. And I'm gonna reach you guys up to the top. You can see also on the top, there is the Autobots logo. All right, so I'm gonna scan you guys up over here and I'm gonna do a quick show off of what's on the bench. We do have RC Sparks' Beast 2 over here. It is signed by him. It's up extremely high. Let me see. You can see that it is signed by him up there. I promise you it is if you guys can see it. You guys can see it in another video. This is going to be another video that we have coming up soon. We have the Gas Monkey Garage uh, Traxxas TRX4 Ford Bronco. We do have the tracks on here. We do have the plow on here. We're getting ready for some snow. We do have the RC four wheel drive Trail Finder 2 1985 4 runner. And then we have the Trail Finder 2 long wheelbase that we're going to be turning into the flatbed. Also, we have the custom six by six over here. Sync does has have the full interior all the way around. It has the inside interior and the bed interior has the mud flaps, it has a bunch of different weights on it. I did do the sport conversion, so this does have the spools inside of here. I also did go with the plastic wheels, just because it is much lighter. I also am running the Proline Hyrax wheels on here. Uh, for wheels on the 4Runner, I'm running the Goodyear Wranglers. These are 1.7s, but they're absolutely huge. They're about the size of a 1.9. If you guys look at them, they're about the same size. Also, I do have the wide body kit and the uh, soft top on top of the 4Runner, which I do really like. Also, you can see the Joker right there, which is a driver for the TRX4 or the TRX6. So let's get back into Optimus Prime. All right, so we're about getting to the end of the video on Optimus Prime. I just wanted to share with you guys one more thing before the video ended. If you guys do end up installing a back rack just like this, you want to make sure that you do leave a very uh, good amount of gap back here so you can still replace your battery in here because it would suck having to unscrew the four nuts on the bottom of this every single time you want to put your battery in here. Now if you do have the spare fifth wheel attachment and you installed it the same way I did, I do have a full build video on this so if you guys want to follow along with me, you guys can install it the same way I did. It does line up absolutely perfectly if you put it all the way forward to the fifth wheel uh, mounting bracket. Now it does look really good like that and it gives you enough space to drop the battery in. I do have a battery adapter on here so it does give me a little bit extra length to plug the battery in before I put him, uh, the battery inside of Optimus Prime himself. Now also the windows on here are all right guys, so real quickly, before we end the video, I'm just gonna plug a battery in and I'm gonna go over all of the different light functions. So real quick, I'm just gonna reach up above you guys. I'm gonna cut into the shot right here. Sorry about that guys. All right, so I just grabbed my Spectrum DX60. So I'm going to power this up. First, you wanna make sure all of the switches are flipped up and I already previously knew that I had them flipped up. So we're gonna power this on, it's gonna beep. We're gonna put the trigger down. Now this is ready to connect to Optimus. You always want to start with your remote first. So I did put that in the background, you guys can see it. Now I'm gonna grab the battery and I'll catch back with you guys. All right, so here is the battery of choice. Just for this video, we're gonna be using the RC four wheel drive, 3000 milliamp, 7.2 volt, NIMH with Shansport nickel metal hydride battery pack. This is the number ZE0090 and it is a quality RC electronic component and accessory from rc4wheeldrive.com and I do have the XT60 clip on here or I believe they also call it an E3. So I am also going to step back into the shot real quick right here. We're going to take the back part off of Optimus Prime here. And then over on the other side step, on the other side there is a switch on the bottom to turn them on, which we will be reaching for in one second. So I'm just gonna go in here and reach behind the back rack, grab the plug from underneath him. 
I'm not going to fully put the battery in just because I'm only going to be demonstrating the lights in this video. So I'm going to flip them on and he is going to turn his sound kit on as well. So there is the sound kit. It also has a rumble kit inside of here. So the whole entire cab and everything shakes. So I'm going to reposition you guys a little bit lower just so that you can see all of the different light functions. And then I will raise you guys up to look at the top functions of the lights. So let's get you guys nice and close here. And then I will angle you guys up like that. That's a good shot right there. That's a good one. All right. So I'm going to put the remote right here so you guys can kind of see it actually all right guys so i'm going to put the remote right here just so that you guys can see it so we do have this switch flipped up right now over on the side where my finger is you guys can barely see it so we're going to flip this switch down and then we are going to go up which is going to put on the hazard lights now you guys can see right here that the light is blinking and it is on both sides and as well as the rear. Now one more time to go up is off, that shuts the hazards off. Now if you go down once, it turns on the rear lights. You go down again, it turns on the top roof lights, which are as well as a speed indicator. So that will tell you how, uh, what gear you are in these top three middle lights. Now, if we go down one more time, it turns on the front lights. Now you can see also turned on the lights inside of the grill. Now you can see the, there are four LEDs inside of the grill lights. There are the two over here and then the two over on this side. I also do have the white lights going in there. And then I showed you guys earlier in the video, I do have the yellow lights inside of the uh, front bumper here or the amp. Alright guys, so if we go up over here, that will be the sound kit. And then over here is how we drive forward and go in reverse. You can hear that the reverse Jake brake uh, sounds and the air compressed brakes do make the noise. You can hear it again. That is the air compressed brakes releasing. So that is basically all of the light functions for Optimus Prime in the front. All right, guys, so I did take you off of the stand. So we are coming to a very close to the end of the video here. So I just wanted to go over the rear lights. So you guys can see that there are the two lights on on the outside of the bumper here that are white. And then if you skip the uh, middle ones here, those are the directionals, which I will be showing off to you guys in one second. If you skip to the third ones, those are the brake lights. So if we do put on the um, brake lights, you can see actually the reverse light just came on, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna kick it in forward just a little bit. And then I'm gonna hit it in reverse. That way you guys can see that the brake lights do light up. And then I'm gonna go over here and hit the servo just so that you guys can see. Actually, my servo function is unplugged because I was doing something with the ESC. So I will cut the video and then show you guys the directionals, but I will show you the switches right now. So if you go over like this and then up, like I was talking about earlier, there are your directionals. Your directionals are the same lights that are used. So your directionals are the same lights that are used for your hazard lights that I showed you guys in the front. Now I'm going to go up on this one more time and that does shut them off. And then if I go down on this two or three times, it does shut them off. And then one more time it does turn them back on. So let me fix the uh, servo issue and then I will get back to you guys with the directionals. All right guys, so if you look here, I do have the servo turned over to the left and the left directional is coming on right there. And that is the directionals on Optimus Prime. So that is part of the multifunction control unit. Now the multifunction control unit also has a sound 
little link inside of here I do have some grease on top of this because they do say to put grease on top of your fifth wheel and anything scale is better so there is that little notch right there and once the trailer gets attached to it it does have the sound kit of the sound of a huge fifth wheeled trailer hitching into a semi truck all right guys so that's basically it for a full build breakdown of the current updated optimus prime edition that we have going on i hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you guys did please leave a like on the video drop a comment down below don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification button that way you guys get notified whenever we upload a good video just like this one or just like any of the upgrade series that we have going on or any video of us going out bashing crashing mudding or racing all right, guys, that's it for Grimmery Bar C today.